Welcome back, guys, to another another episode. That is, that is my Let's Play series episode four. I think it's episode four. I might be wrong. Anyway, so I just got out of the. I ended my last episode by going deeper into the mine. Then you wind up grabbing some more ore. I came out. I got attacked by a whole bunch of spiders. Nearly died from that. And now I'm here. I'm just. I, I constructed a furnace, dumped all my shit in a chest. Okay, typical stuff you do after you mine. And right now I'm going to be constructing a grindstone. Grindstone might become the most dependable device for ore processing, as the device allows me to utilize my ore and to process it quite a bit. Essentially, gives me a low, a um, beginning of the game processing device. I'm going to construct that right now. I'm going to build my um right there. I need. I'm going to get my stone right here. Got. I got. I got some quartz in, inside the mine. I'm probably going to use the non-charged stuff right here. For that, I'm just some cobblestone. Got, I got some cobblestone from the mine. Okay. Not to pick up that, let's construct this. Okay, the stone right here. Put it right here. I don't know, look up now, this goes right here. There you go, now we got a first kind of machine made. This is preliminary, now we gotta go and construct a um, handle. Okay, basically what I'm not gonna do here is I'm gonna this is, um, you know, it's not tedious construction, I'm not really going to be able to process that. I'm going to try to process it and these other ores. Right here, most of these ores can be processed. At least I think they can. Or... Uh, these drag tech ores can be processed in... At least some of these ores. Can be processed. Yes, can. Right here, I'm going to use this. I'm trying to think of the device. I'm trying to. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to look up on. Um, no. Let's try to figure find what I'm looking for here. I know it's a wooden device that's fairly easy to make. I need to know what to operate on the thing that pushes the pages. I forgot what it's called. Wooden crank. Alright, so I'm looking for okay, five sticks. Make two of these. Okay. Now, right here, if I crank this, to start processing stuff. So now I've gotten some iron dust, which can be made into ingots. So I'm essentially doubling that ore and making it into useful things. Yeah, I'll crank that a little later unless I need it like initially. Yeah, that's uh, as soon as we got that little bit of frame wave here, now we gotta go and get to think here what I'm gonna be doing next. Now we got that processing. We're gonna want to make, we're gonna want to start getting some energy stuff made and some better processing. So actually, you know, want to start setting up a system of machines because much more machines are gonna use power. You also might want to start maybe getting up bees going. So look what we have in here. Okay, I'm going to set up my apiary, so I'm going to set any bees here that can be run. That is going to be a little bee breeding area. Okay, we got one of every type of hive bee. I'm not sure which ones can survive. I know forest here should be able to do the forest. We should have the, the forest bees here should be able to survive. Meadows for sure. I could probably run these. I just need a few flowers. I could run those a little bit. 
give me my first cones. I only got to figure out this dandelion right here will work. Okay. Start running. Let's let, let's let these guys run now. I'll get that going. Now let's actually start making some machines because we actually have some resources to use. Just a second. Let's get started. Also, before we start, we're also going to want to ensure we have a steady rate of these common ores such as iron, tin, aluminum, copper. This means we're gonna go want, we're gonna we're gonna have to build the first subterranean portion of our base. You know how to do that here? As soon as the game lets me, I wanna grab these sticks and make some ladders. Okay. Basically my plan is here I'm gonna make a um, slight subterranean portion of it to my base and then I'm probably gonna stay. I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna probably dedicate this area to kind of like my farming area. I'm probably gonna go make a little path down here, like so. Four ladders. Let's make it five. Actually six. Okay, now right here I'm gonna. A little passage right here. I'm gonna make this cobblestone, and now this right here is gonna be my dark area. We're gonna build a um. That just gives you a very very dark space where I'm going to put all berries. That way they can grow. All berries will damage monsters if they were to spawn down here. So the only issue about having all berry farms that I'll constantly find a Mobs will spawn down here when they're in place. As much I have to have it dark before I can even place the ore berries. The ore berries yield pearls. Oh, I'm gonna want the. I'm gonna utilize a scoop to utilize that hive. I want these. Once I get the ore berries placed, I can let them. I'm gonna do some other things while we're doing that. That way I can. Check down here from time to time, grab some ore, grab some bits of ore, and process it into cool things. So, this right here is going to be the first subterranean portion of our base. And we're going to just quite a bit of cobblestone as a result, taken down here. Uh, it lets us know that we're progressing forward, building a subterranean area of our base. Not sure if it, is it getting dark out already? No, it's not. Not getting dark out. Just appears that way when we're underground. My pickaxe just breaks. Use this essentially to get the light. Okay, I can at least place the um chin. I can't place it here. So I'm going to want to place I'm going to want to place it in a area where I can access it easily without touching it, otherwise it will damage me. So I want a little bit of tin, and I want my iron. And once these grow, then I can place these on top of each other to allow, to allow me to get multiple yeah, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna add one more. I'm probably gonna make this three high. I know this iron stuff. I want to have as much iron or berry growing as possible. Just temporarily, I'm gonna get this stuff to growing. I'm gonna let this stuff grow, and then I'm gonna remove this. It's kind of how I'm gonna think things in the I can recollect the plant without the issue. The aluminum stuff, I really don't care for too much. I have not found too many uses in previous test runs of this. Let's play see what I'm doing. So right here, I'm gonna build it right up here, and then for that last piece, I'll let that stuff grow, and then I'll come back down here in a little bit, and then we'll see what came out of it. I'm also gonna go to bed here too. 
now with that stuff down there and it's going right now to go to sleep here. Let another day pass. Now we have our first bits of ore gen going. We start getting more ore, more resources to work with. In addition to that, we're also going to want to start making our first machine. We're going to want some thermal expansion machines. And the first thing we're going to want is the pulverizer. I can spell it correctly here. Yes, right here. Resonance. Pulverizer basic. Okay, how do I make this basic pulverizer? My question is, how do I make this basic pulverizer? I put the game just for yeah, the game just for the time again. This pulverizer, pulverizer basic. Yes, I know it crushes items. Okay, machine frame, reinforced, unreinforced, permanent, basic. Okay. I need to make first a basic machine frame, which will require a ton gear. And looks like just regular glass. So it looks like at least I'm used to constructing a machine frame. Alright, well, let's, let's make this uh, machine frame. We're going to need this calls for the glass. We don't have um, sand, so we're going to have to cut that right now. It's calls for a little bit. But how am I going to keep the sand over there? I'm going to go along this little bit of shore around over here and then get the sand from over here. The sand right here. We're going to need a little bit. We're going to want quite a bit of sand. Of course, once we get the pulverizer, we can, with a little bit of energy, turn cobblestone into sand. Uh, that or gravel. Oh, I know one of the crop. Crushing machines I have seen converts sand into where it's cobblestone into sand. Fishy. Let's get this sand out of here into our inventory. Like so. And setting up getting the basic machines that take quite a while. Well, frame it again. Wait a little bit, get you done, and then continue. Like so. Alright, now let's dig back up here. Now we have, us, we have enough resources to get our sand and glass. And keep getting seeds. And also, since I see this sugar cane, we're going to want sugar cane. We're bound to need it soon for something. So. Let's plant a little bit of that stuff out here. For four times the sugar cane of that. Alright, now let's go to our um, thing here, put that stuff in there, and then cook it. It's charcoal. While that's going, we'll spin this a few more times. Lost some noise. I want to figure out what this is for. I'm doing that right now. Uh, these. So we got our first honeycomb now. I'm going to need to centrifuge that before it comes anything use. Or we can finish the run with it. Also, how do we make a um, tin gear? Also, we can make sure we have tin gear made. Piston. Now there's so many recipes for the pulverizer. I remember in, um, when I was playing Feed the Bees, pulverizer was just a simple recipe. Now I can't even tell now which is which. Mm -hmm. Looks like most stuff is done with. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
So like the interface of the stuff has not changed very much. Definitely. Alright. So here's the more upgraded machine bin. We're gonna to want to construct a whole bunch of these machine frames. And that will be for the other next episode. I'll get the materials ready before the next episode. Anyway guys, I'll see you guys in the 